Listen, paperwork stuff is coming soon. I'm driving. I just was eating. I'm trying to keep up with the post while I'm doing stuff. I have plenty proof on the way. I promise you it's coming. Give me till tonight or in the morning because he's probably going to try to slow up or change his accounts or stuff. But I got you. I promise it's coming. Hey, what's up? This is your boy, Big Man. Welcome to Witty Apparatus, where we get it like the barbershop, but you ain't got to wait in line to get this scoop, and definitely ain't got to wait in line to hear about these beefs. Now, it looks like we got a different type of beef going on. Not the kind of beef you see in the streets, the kind of beef that leads to the courtroom and also leads to the bank accounts. Now, for those of you who don't know who that was in that video clip that I played, that was DJ Frank White. And he is the DJ for the now deceased rapper Dobie. Dobie was an amazing talent. And I dedicated a whole video to Dobie's situation and what happened in regards to his death and the scandal about his album release. He's got an album that's going to be coming out this summer. And there was a scandal where DJ Frank White and Dobie's mom had agreed that it would be okay to show him in his casket. It created a lot of controversy from his fans and the local community. And uh, check that video out and you can really get an idea of what went down there. But this time, DJ Frank White is not beefing with the local community. He is beefing with none other than T.I., Mr. Grand Hustle, Mr. Tip, uh, Mr. Paper Trail himself. Now, T.I. did bring receipts to this argument and we'll get to that in a little bit, which I love. But for those of you who don't know, this all spawns from a uh, Instagram post that DJ Frank White made where he accused the rapper uh, T.I. of taking money from Dobie's estate. I mean, basically in the tweet, he, I mean, the Instagram post, he said this man and he added T.I.'s name and he said stood in front of God and the world and lied and shame on you, sir. The devil. Hashtag the devil. P.S. Yes, his team still makes money off of Dobie for a fact on Doe. Now, Tip, you know, he is not for it, man. So Tip, he he responded by putting out a, an electronic bank receipt, and it shows exactly where Dobie's money is going. And it says that the estate of Glenn Thomas, for those of you who don't know, Glenn Thomas is the government name of Dobie, and it has 50% going, and it has uh, Frank Wilkinson, 25%, and Loyalty Promotions, 25%. Now, on this Instagram post, T.I. also commented that anyone wondering where Lil Bro Dobie's money goes, one, to his estate, 50%, two, to Frank White, DJ Frank White, and he added him, 25%, and Loyalty Promotions, Frank White's management partnership, 25%. DJ Frank White, why are you taking Lil Bro bread and acting like like it's us. Remember, champ, Grand Hustle Hustle Gang ain't never got to steal, rob, or cheat any artist. Because if it all goes bad, on our worst day, we got T.I. Big old facts hashtag. Hashtag we miss, we miss the, the F. You, know, I, I, you guys can check that out on the, and I'll include that in, in here for you. But DJ Frank White responded. And he said, y'all relax. Let me get the paperwork together to show you. You know who he trying to cover it up. I got him. Please be patient. Love you, though. The people who have the details, I have already texted. I would rather not name them and get them involved. However, if you don't send me the breakdowns, you all will learn a lot on God. Hashtag. Now, it looks like, just judging from those Instagram posts, it looks like, okay, T.I. brought receipts and this DJ Frank White, I mean, Something is is weird about him receiving fifty percent. If that if that is accurate, and this is all alleged, if that is accurate, there is something awkward about him receiving fifty percent of the earnings for Doby. Now, I I guarantee, as a manager, he was getting no more than twenty percent. I don't know. They're actually as his DJ, they might have structured his contract another way. I am not going to sit here and act like I know what the contract is. But that does seem a little bit high for a manager to be receiving 50%. I understand he has to do a lot of the legwork since Dobie is passed away and he's doing a lot of the work. But uh, it just would seem right if a majority of that money was still going to his uh, his estate. Now, T.I. wasn't done with that. 
he also brought out a text that he had received from from uh, DJ Frank White, where in this text, it looked like it was all love. And then he also commented about somebody by the name of Domani had just cut him to to five percent to five percent. Now, we don't know the inner workings of what this five percent is talking about, but it looks like this is another relationship that uh, Frank White is is having problems with because T.I. also commented, commented and he added DJ Frank White. And he said, damn, because. How we go from this to that so fast. Oh, I know how. Because you so much of a snake that my son seen it. When Domani, and that's the man mentioned in the text, fired you. Not not even me. You resort to this. But I'm so straight on you because I know you a cop. You the feds, bruh. The kind of white boy to talk tough stuff. And you shake hands and smile and drink a beer with while the police is coming. Hashtag big old facts. Hashtag miss me with that. And then hashtag everybody knows you a whole. Mm, hey, yeah, you guys can check that out for yourself. But it looks like T.I. is really bringing receipts to this situation, man. It looks like T.I. He has the 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 tweets to back it up. He's got the electronic bank receipts to, to back it up. DJ Frank White, he came back and he said he showed a a. um a text message, a series of text messages of his own. And he's actually showing where there was a communication between him. And I do not know. It doesn't show who he's communicating with where TI's uh, text message, a series of text messages showed clearly that he was com communicating with DJ Frank White. So I, I don't want to put too much validity on this. I'm just going to scroll past that and just, uh, and leave that where it is. But you guys get where this is going. So it's pretty much a back and forth, back and forth between them about who is in the right and who is in the wrong and who is taking money from Dobie's estate. Now, to take the, the money from somebody's estate for legitimate reasons as far as to conduct business is one thing. But to take money, knowing that Dobie had a family and kids that he still that he left here and family that he left here that he had to take care of and knowing that they're going to be dropping an album and have those percentages outweigh what his family gets seems a little odd especially from a manager's perspective where most managers receive about 20 percent to 10 percent on the low end i guess agent 10 percent uh manager 20 percent but i don't know man i don't know i don't want to i don't want to just say that dj frank white is a snake and he's doing dobe dirty but I don't want to dismiss it as well because those who could be a victim of that, you know, they could be missing out on money that could go towards good things, especially when you have children there, man. Now, in if you go and you look at both of their accounts, it looks like they both show love for this for this slain rapper, Doby. And DJ Frank White, he has a lot of posts where he's he's talking about uh Doby and he's showing love to him. Now, most recently, DJ Frank White put something on Twitter and he said, I ain't little flip. And he's saying and this is and he's saying that pretty much he ain't little flip because T.I., you know, he just destroyed little flips career pretty much. I mean, it was it, after after T.I., little flip was pretty was no more. I mean, it was it was a done deal. But I really want you guys to comment on this, especially uh, my folks. I see. I see a lot of a lot of people who watch the videos are from the South and are and are from or live in Alabama. And I really, really want to see with, with the check the temperature, what's going on in the streets there. And really don't react on things without without the facts. I, I, I like facts, but hey, let me know how you're feeling this. Do you think DJ Frank White is in the wrong? I mean, he's already on a lot of people's bad side with trying to release an album showing Do Dobie in his casket. And then, you know, have that the last memory for his family to see and that album go around the nation. And then you have him trying to accuse T.I. And T.I. pretty much bringing receipts saying, hey, man, I'm not taking anything. And all the proof is showing that he is not taking any money from Doe But we'll we'll wait on this. And I'm sure we'll have more to, to report about this. Like I said, Doe is just one of those artists that was just going to really change a lot of things. As far as, you know, the Alabama hip hop scene coming from Montgomery, he was going to be that shining star. But, you know, sad, sad to say he, he, he met his end too early, way too early. 
All right, now with that, I've been carrying on this video a long, long way. Just uh, leave me a comment, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you like what we do, and yeah, hit that notification button as well. This has been your boy, Big Man. We out. Peace.